Greetings, friends! And welcome back to Wind Waker HD. Yeah, so in between the last episode of this one, we got all the rest of the treasure charts, all the treasures, and all the pieces of heart, and it was uh, kind of repetitive. You know, I was having fun, but it, it was like two or three hours of sailing around. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most interesting thing was the cannon minigame. But uh, other than that, you didn't miss much. Yeah, now the only thing left to do is go save Zelda mm -hmm. and beat Ganondorf. Yup. For real this time. <laughs> He's not coming back. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, they use him in literally almost every Zelda. Yeah, except that the only two I can think of off the top of my head are Minish Cap and Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's the villain in Skyward Sword, because I've never beat that one. Or Link's Awakening. Or mm -hmm. the Oracle games. <laughs> or the shitty CDI ones. <laughs> Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you've assembled to the gods. I, I like got it. Just floats. Yep. Right here, baby. Oh yeah, Zelda's been down there. How she been? hasn't run out of oxygen. Yeah, it's been weeks in this <laughs> game. Oh, what is this? There on your hand, the Triforce piece now dwells within you. <gasps> It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You've controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Link, the Hero of Winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. He's like, that's me. <laughs> I would have loved it if he did a little, like, gay wrist thing at the end. <laughs> he just, like, popped his wrist down. <laughs> uh. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I don't know, like, how the water isn't just flowing in here. It's like a giant bubble or mm -hmm. something. The first time you come down here, there's that cutscene where Link, like, is holding his breath and almost chokes, and then he realizes, he's like, oh, I can breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess they were just like, yeah, this is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever go down here to see that she wasn't there anymore? Uh, I don't think so, because I'm pretty sure after you leave the first time, you, like, can't come back oh, yeah. until you get the Triforce. There she is. Zelda! Le princess. <laughs> um, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? <laughs> Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here you shall fall into eternal slumber! Ring of fire! <laughs> oh no, two guys? How will I ever <laughs> win? <laughs> After those freaking enemy gauntlets where they were spawning like 40 dudes against us. Why didn't that work? That was weird. Do the right parry, Link. <laughs> Sweet. Why did it slice his armor off? I hit the helmet. <laughs> Glitching. The Wii U version is inferior. <laughs> that time it worked. Sweet. I'll take that. This battle music is hype, though. Yeah. I love the sub-boss music in this game. Mm -hmm. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the first Zelda game where every boss has its own unique theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in every other game, it just plays the same song for or like, everyone. Or like two songs. Like in Ocarina of Time, King Dodongo and uh, What's-His-Face, the dragon, have yeah. like their own. But everyone else gets that. <laughs> Now I gotta go to the castle. Mm -hmm. 
This is random, but I think my favorite Zelda music... I don't even remember if we've ever talked about this, but I think my favorite Zelda soundtrack as a whole is Twilight Princess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your wars? Um... I'm not too sure. I can I don't know if I can pick a favorite. Mm-hmm. I also really like the N64 Zelda games. I have a lot of nostalgia for them, but I think like I don't know. Something about Twilight Princess. Like I listen to Lake Hylia's theme a lot. I tried to do a jump attack and he just <laughs> He did that instead. <laughs> Goodbye. And then all the water just comes pouring in. Mm -hmm. All the glass shards come flying down and <laughs> skewer like. Ooh, that'd be rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this super long road. Mm -hmm. With a bunch of dummies along the way. Mm -hmm. Not even gonna bother with them. Yeah. Just go right on through. I'm gonna get the hook shot ready though. Mm -hmm. They look really weird down here. Yeah, they're like super shiny. It's like really bright. It is. This whole game's really bright. Mm -hmm. Next to Super Mario Sunshine, this is like the brightest game I think I've ever played. Mm -hmm. And that game gives you like sunglasses in the game mm -hmm. to adjust for it. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Shit. Are you gonna have to do the whole road again? I hope not, please. No! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. Was you like, were. You're like two really. platforms away. <laughs> That's really funny. Just try not to roll this time. Do it two more times. <laughs> right. Just like make the whole video. Of that. Yeah. And then we'll be like, well, guys, we'll try and get past the chasm of death next time. <laughs> we start the next video, and it's just like the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we got it all off camera. It wasn't yeah. interesting. Yeah, we killed all those bosses and <laughs> navigated in the dungeon. <laughs> you guys didn't want to see that. Yeah, Here's the credits, the though. <laughs> just the credits. Bye -bye. Watch out for the bats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Sweet. Yeah, the aiming's a little finicky in this game. I think it's always funny when it's like bleeping back and forth. Mm -hmm. Like, just settle, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> oh yeah, all these. Yeah, and Thomas talked about the. Or to, we we both talked about this. We're gonna be swapping um the bosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't remember. I killed Goma. You killed. The plant, plant boy thingy. and the worm, and I killed Goma and uh, Ghost Boy. Cool. So this is Goma cool. here, the claw. <laughs> <laughs> They're so terrible. Yeah, okay. This one can be a little bit annoying, and I saw your eyes glow in there, buddy. Mm-hmm. Enemy spotted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is one of the only times in the game where you have to use the grappling hook in this manner. Yeah. Every other time, I'm pretty sure it's, like, optional. I think if you fall in Ice Ring Isle and in, like, a couple other spots, you have to use it to get some optional treasure. Mm-hmm. But if you've never climbed the grappling hook, you might not even know that you can do that. Yeah. And I'm not too sure which other ones are enemies, so I'm gonna just take them all. Better out. safe than sorry. You don't want to be up there, and one of them just knocks you into the lava. Right. Oh man, you can, like barely see those things. Oh nice. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, and then the other ones, I I think by the time you get over there, you might be. Watch you do all this and then accidentally Fall. walk. Yeah, <laughs> walk right into the lava. I'm gonna be so upset. I wouldn't be surprised either. This one's like kind of tricky. Yeah, and we always have bad luck when we're recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if only the Hawkeye was in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those last two, I think you'll be fine. Yeah. They're so, <laughs> they're so far away. 
All right, let's see if I can do this. I think you'll be okay. Nah, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> It's over before it even started. No. Oh, sweet. Last one. Oh, and we gotta get that DQ leaf out. Mm -hmm. It'd be wild if they did this in the Fire Temple. Mm -hmm. They're like, all right, kids, get good. Because, like, Thomas made it look really easy, but it's super... It It's really common to, like, mistime your jump and, you know, like fall right into the lava. <laughs> Fuck off. Freaks! And now we're in the black and white zone. Yeah. And then they unequip all your items, which is kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had the grappling hook equipped. What mm -hmm. the fuck? <laughs> sound so sour. <laughs> I've tried to, like, grab the tail, like, before she puts the rock back just to see if she could kill me <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. But, nope. Nope. Yeah, and I think if you're up here, it takes her a while before she even registers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to, like, go back and forth between them, though, because this angle while you're swinging is kind of awkward. Yeah. And I don't know if she can... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if she can snatch you out of the sky or not. Mm -hmm. What if it, like, took away all of our hearts, too? Because <laughs> we only had, like, four when we first did this. That'd be annoying. Here we go. Third time's the charm. Her armor will break for sure, because that's the Nintendo rule. Yeah, and since we have the Master Sword now, she's gonna die, like, really quick. Mm -hmm. Do the hurricane spin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. Take care of her. Sure, thanks. Go, Mom. <laughs> this one is the forest one, right? Yeah, yeah. I can see the vines. Give me some. Yes, a dollar. <laughs> Forgot we were still unequipped. <laughs> oh yeah, it unequipped us again after the fight. That's <laughs> dumb. It like took away the grappling hook. Mm. Yeah, and in case you need a reminder, so once you're on the gondola, you can just blow wind in either direction, and it'll push you in the opposite way, and if you need to pull the gondola to, like, the cliff over there, that's when you hit the little spinning thing. Yeah, because when we were kids, we thought you had to hit that spinning thing in order to move it. That is not the case. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget it and drive yourself crazy. <laughs> Where's the other one? There's a wheel thingy right there. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, dear. Sweet. Ooh. That didn't look like it should work, <laughs> but it did. Uh oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Into the abyss. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys need any more uh, pro gamer tips, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Blow the wind like this. Jump to your death. Alrighty. This Why music sounds so sour in here. Mm -hmm. It's the same as the the stuff from the forest temple, right? 
Yeah, but I think it's doing it in a weird way. Like, it might be playing, like, Ganon's theme. Like, but with... I can, like, barely hear it. <laughs> it's can't... so quiet. They did something strange to the music in this place. I can't remember what the... I think you're just imagining things. Yeah. <laughs> Bump off. Yeah, little well, freaks. <laughs> Can I get some magic? Sweet. Give me that. And then they're gonna unequip me anyway, so I'll just wait. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, Kali Demos. Time to die, quickly. Because the Master Sword is gonna eat him up too. Mm hmm. Yeah, all these boss themes sound so sour. Yeah. I forgot about it. Yeah, it sounds like you're like underwater or something. Alright. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, I remember he specifically is like a joke with a master sword. Mm hmm. And then the other two are relatively normal, because the big ghost still has his little trick where, like, after you kill five Poes, he reforms, mm -hmm. and then the worm. Is, it's, like, about the same. Cause I think you get, like, slightly powered up after you kill him. <laughs> it's very polite of him to jump out of the way like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the... This one is annoying. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, You but... have to set a, a shadow chew on a switch and then run for the stairs, like, really fast. Mm-hmm. And then I'm pretty sure there's some re-deads and other stuff. These are all gonna fall. <laughs> Whoa. I hear our sister's cat running around yeah. upstairs. Going crazy. Alright, where is the shadow chew? Shadow Chew Jelly. Donne. There it is. <laughs> Why they got a moan like that? <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever will we do? <laughs> and as long as you make it to like one of the steps, you're yeah, fine. You can be like right here, and you'll be fine. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the stairs like they fly up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as long as you're standing on one of them, you'll make it up just fine. Oh yeah, this one's freaking annoying because you have to hit it from over here, carry it all the way over there, and mm -hmm. then run back before it. Get the one that's way over there. Sweet. Nice. Like a couple of pros. <laughs> and just roll as fast as I can. As long as you make it to that first step. <laughs> also, um, I don't know if you could tell, but I was like rolling. Oh fuck! What off the hell? Camera. Out of the way, punk. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were rolling off camera. Yeah, like before the camera pan back over. You were. I, I was already rolling. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the game like picked him up doing it or not like the sound mm -hmm. all right Farik. oh my god this one in particular is sounding rough because <laughs> it already sounded kind of like deranged circus music mm -hmm. it's just really sour just throw it right for the spikes It'd be awesome if you could, like, glitch it and hit, like, three of them. Yeah. You know, at that last once. hit. Mm hmm You can at the beginning, but, like, for the end, it, it like, has to be just... Mm -hmm. Did you stop? Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> so not like he hit the wall right there. He might I have. I just heard him smack it. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's by the door. That's weird. Sweet, and then after this is Wormy, mm -hmm. and then freaking Ganon is actually gonna show himself. Stop hiding like a coward. Well, actually, we gotta do all the Thanos and stuff. Too. Yeah, but you know, he's not hiding behind his recycled bosses anymore. Come on, Link. I think one jump. Uh, I was gonna say, I think one jump attack will probably <laughs> kill it. Like how one Poe makes this giant one. Yeah. <laughs> They used to, as a kid, total I was, sense. Yeah, as a kid, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Goodbye, po boy. Ooh. Sweet. Thank you. Last one. Yeah, and the whole bit with all of the phantom again and stuff it can take a while if you don't know what to do but we've been in this game like a dozen times mm -hmm. so we got it on lock some of the boss fights can be a little annoying um but some of them are really easy mm -hmm. like the spider ganon one <laughs> that's my favorite because i'm like oh yeah, i can see exactly where he's gonna land and then boom <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. I can't hit that. Okay. Pass this. I think you just have to go right between them two. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> just get on the thing, Wink. <laughs> Sweet. Wait. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. I was like, I'm not gonna make it. That one was easy. <laughs> Why were the other ones so much more <laughs> difficult and elaborate? Maybe because this boss is supposed to be harder. Hey, girl. Stick that tongue out. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on. Sweet. Stop. <laughs> Every time I, like, L target, <laughs> just, like, stops doing it with the freaking hookshot for some reason. <laughs> Alright. Freaking shifting sand over here. <laughs> Stop eating me up, baby. Yeah, if you get too close, they'll just swallow you. I'm, I'm trying to get close so that I can freaking L target it. This keeps happening where it's like going in the ground. <laughs> Stop targeting the worms. You don't gotta go after her children. <laughs> I'm really good at this boss fight, y'all. <laughs> We have a couple of fairies in blue potion and soup. I'm not worried at all. Yeah, it's I'm just doing like Yeah, it's just annoying because like I like the the physics are weird because he's in sand. Like if you can see, he's like moving really slow as he goes up, and mm -hmm. the camera doesn't always work. Oh my god. Like if the camera could focus on the worm that's right next to my foot. Instead of mom! Yeah, every time they dive underground, it just like takes him out of the L target, mm -hmm. and it's very disorienting. Ah, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sweet. No, no more of those. Alright, freak.
Just die! <laughs> I've killed nine of your kids. Well, this will be nine after these three. Jesus Christ. Come on, worm! <laughs> so disorienting. <laughs> Like, the sand's not even that deep. I can see when the camera pans. It's mm -hmm. like paper thin, so where are you disappearing to? Freaking worms. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Here you go. Thanks. Maybe they made the intro part easy because this is the hardest boss. Mm -hmm. And, um, the bird from Forsaken Fortress, he can go fuck himself. Yeah, the dude from the God Tower, he can eat a dick. Yeah, those two, fuck those boss <laughs> fights. Even though the freaking bird has one of the best songs in the game. I don't like the HD remix as much as the GameCube original for that one. Mm -hmm. um, but he has one of the better songs. I think we have like one thing of bait left. Um, for, for the mini balloons, there's like a dozen of them headed right at you. Cool. Um, I don't know if we even need to kill those guys or not. Probably not. I mean, it's classic Zelda. You don't need to kill a lot of enemies, unless the room's locked. Or you're like, I need a treasure. And mm -hmm. it's like, kill everyone. <laughs> Congratulations, you win. You're out of the room. But I like that about video games. I'm not the biggest fan of games where you have to kill every single enemy. Mm -hmm. So this part's kind of dumb how the camera just like... <laughs> it's it's showing you the puzzle. It's yeah. like one, two, three, four. I wonder what that could mean. I don't want to hear it. Tell us, King of Red Lions. Link, you must remember. The shape of the room, the floor and the ceiling, the candles. And the lake below. Yeah, and then as soon as we go in here, it's gonna do the same thing. Yeah, it's like literally showing you. If if we hadn't seen the candles first, would it have shown this? I don't think it would. I'm, I'm assuming it wouldn't, but I don't know. It'd be pretty funny if it did. They really wanted kids to be able to finish this game. Mm -hmm. They're like, all right, kids, here's the solution. One, two, three, four. Puzzle solved. Boom, 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 boom. You've opened the gates to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, the King of Red Lions emerges as if from nowhere. I see, so this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Link, we shall make use of this path that Ganon created for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the column of darkness. I don't need shit from the world above. Yeah, what am I gonna buy? Everything I need is right here. Mm -hmm. Everything. Every single thing. Yeah, and then you just jump down. Yeah. I think there's a stone tablet over there that tells you to do it. Yeah, and it'll tell you like what to do down there too. The sword hilts of my servants who lurk in the darkness will be the guide po or guide po posts that point to me. Yeah. Like, I was trying to say guide posts for some reason. <laughs> guide that posts point that to point to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen any guide posts? <laughs> no. It's an ambush. Yeah. That's the way. Yeah. Nothing too challenging. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, the timing on that's pretty tricky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially once you get the hurricane spin. Mm -hmm, yeah, because you can only <laughs> hold this spin for a second. I think you can spin this stick and hit B, but it's a little finicky. Yeah, in this game. Mm -hmm. It honestly, for me, it works the best in the 3DS games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does for me, too. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I think you gotta do this like five or six times. Mm -hmm. oh, I had a voice crack there. I was like, yeah. <laughs> much higher. Yeah, and after we beat Wind Waker, I think we're gonna take some time to finish up Persona 5 Royal because we're close to the end, but not that close. So we're gonna just do that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pick a couple new games. Start focusing on that. Probably something not as long as Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> <laughs> Love the game, but doing it for a channel might have overcommitted. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And also, no one's watching it. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap it up. Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him get that many. He's like, I'm going to hit you. Mm -hmm. If it's the last thing I do, I will hit this child. Phantom Ganon. 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to shrek him with my boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> try again. <laughs> This dude's a lot better at tennis than the one from Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Distracting. Oh yeah, sweet, finally! Thank and then, the Lord. Did you want to call the episode after this and then we can wrap it in the next one? Sure. Cool. Yeah, because this after this point it's like a boss gauntlet and mm -hmm. then credits and then... Done! And we're gonna do what we did for Tears of the Kingdom from now on for credits, where we're like, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna mute the mic and let this roll, because mm -hmm. we don't want to sit here in silence for ten minutes. <laughs> and I'll just keep tapping the controller, so hopefully it won't be like, connection lost! Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. Are we gonna get those light arrows, finally? The light arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him drop it in the shadow. <laughs> Sweet. You got the light arrow. It'll kill anything immediately. Mm -hmm. Except for bosses. And it's kind of funny, too, because like when I use it for the first time, um, it's like the same way that Zelda disappeared a few minutes ago. Uh -huh. So it's like, did she get shot with a light arrow? Yes. <laughs> That's canon. <laughs> Oh no! It's again. It's back at it again. Goodbye. I think his blasts are still coming after me. No. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, and then you just walk over here and give it a little bam. Cool. Sweet! And then there's a bunch of enemies up ahead. Yeah, do you want to just uh, turn around and call it and we can like just pa- uh oh. <laughs> we can just call it here. Thank Earth you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And we hope you'll join us next time for the finale. Bye-bye. Have a good one.